Any story like this starts with pain. <laughs> Shared pain, because suffering is soul making. And the, perhaps the slight glint of friendship that is starting to emerge because we're starting to know each other and spend time together. It's pretty awesome, you know, I was walking under and I was like, <laughs> I was just like, don't follow me, but it's, it's pretty nice so far. The biggest challenge for me in this project so far? Uh, I don't know. It's all a challenge. Keeping up with the number of small components, uh, gathering volunteers. Like there are electronics and chemistries and metabolism and the scaffold and structure. Um, are you taking video right now or just pictures? Video. Actually, we've been very successful with the sphere so far and having everything working perfectly first time, which is kind of rare. What are you looking forward to the most at this point? Besides sleeping? Looking forward to seeing it uh, all lit up and done. Seeing some of the, uh, the local and neighbor behaviors that we've been talking about for so long. Looking forward to seeing it come alive. I'm kind of stuck in here, so... Uh, we are taking singies of singies. <laughs> The success with Amatria is when the lights go down and the sculpture is lit and it comes to life, watching people's reactions, that's, that's for me the biggest thing. And to have it here and to know that it's going to be here continuously, um, exposed to all of these students and inspiring them and inspiring us to, to ask bigger questions. That's probably my biggest success with Amatria.